Hi everyone, Matt from the Shaker Library here today, and we're going to be talking a little bit about Hoopla. Uh, Hoopla is a digital resource that allows patrons to check out ebooks, e audiobooks, comic books and graphic novels, music, movies, TV shows, and nonfiction videos. Some of the nice features of Hoopla are that the items are always available, you don't have to worry about wait lists and items will just automatically return when their due date comes up. You can return manually if you wish, but you don't have to. Things will just expire and go away from your device when the loan period is up. So how do you get to all this great content in Hoopla? Well, you'd start off on our homepage, shakerlibrary.org, and you would want to scroll on down until you hit the Hoopla link right here. Go ahead, click on that. And it should open up Hoopla. And if you don't have an account, you'll click Get Started Today. So in this form, you put in your email, confirm your email, come up with a password that's between 8 and 40 characters, and then confirm. So we'll go ahead, we will do that. And with our password here. And click the agree button. And then it'll ask you to choose your library. This is kind of an important step because it's tied to your library card number. Uh, so it'll know if it's a shaker card a Heights library card and so on. So you want to go ahead and click on Shaker Heights Public Library. And then click Next. And then you want to enter in your library card number at this step here. So, you'll know you're successful if you get this message. Thanks for signing up. And if you need any help, it gives our phone number, the 216-991-2030. So you know that everything's gone all right if you get to this screen here. So we click on Done. And so here we are on the Hoopla homepage. I'm going to talk a little bit about navigating here on this blue bar at the top where it says Hoopla, if you click on that, it always gets you back to this page, which is nice. My Hoopla lets you see what you've got checked out, your favorites and your checkout history. Here's the browse button, search field. You've got an advanced search option. This is really nice over here. You can cast videos if you have such technology attached to your television set, like a Chromecast from Google. You can click on that and it will cast videos to a TV set. And the kids option here, clicking on that, gets you to a kid-friendly version of Hoopla with all sorts of content tailored for kids. And then the gear here, clicking on that, gets you over to your various and sundry settings that you can adjust. So I'll click back on home here. And through this part of the page, they give you a carousel of new and recently added items. Right here is the currently borrowed. If we had something checked out, it would show up here. It also shows you how many titles you can check out. Right now, our limit is set at 30. So with each checkout, it goes down by one. Also, they come up with recommendations based on what you've borrowed and what's popular. And then after you've set up favorites, they would show up here. So let's say you want to browse around for a ebook to check out. You'd go over to the browse drop down here and click on ebooks. And this will land you by default on what's popular these days on the Hoopla. You can also filter things out by release date, 
when things were added to Hoopla, patron rating, sort of like on Amazon, you could rate by the number of stars, uh, and also language. Now, if you see something interesting right off the bat, you can go ahead, we'll click on the woman in the window here. And this brings up some additional data about the book, who published it, how many pages, little synopsis. Sometimes you'll have reviews as well. So if this is something that was interesting to you, you can click on borrow if you wanted to check it out right now. Or say if your reading queue is full, you could click this heart here and that add it to your favorites. But let's go ahead, we'll click on borrow and you'll get this little box here and you can go ahead and borrow the title. And it'll tell you down here, you can enjoy this title through, in this case, May 15th. Usually it gives you a good three weeks to peruse items in Hoopla. And you can go back to my Hoopla here and lo and behold, there's your new title and your checkout counter now has gone down by one. It'll show you when this returns. And you could, if you were done with the book, you can click on it and then click on return now. And it'll ask you, are you sure you want to do that? So you click on OK. And it would be out of your checkouts. You can see it's now back to just the regular borrow button. And it pretty much works the same way for all the different formats here. Uh, we can use the search box, say, to look for a graphic novel that's in Hoopla right now. We will look for Gwenpool. It's got a nice autocomplete feature there. And we'll go ahead and borrow Gwenpool, borrow the title. And with comics, you get this additional little reader menu here that shows you how to use the comics reader. And then we can go ahead and click on read and it opens up the comic reader. And to exit this, you just click down there and click Exit Reader. You can also do advanced searches if you're feeling advanced. Uh, we could do advanced search, say, for, if I can type here, Civil War series by Ken Burns. And lo and behold, there's the Civil War. And as we mentioned, there are also audio books in Hoopla. Go ahead and click on Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Borrow that. Borrow the title. Gives you a little message about kids mode. In this instance, it's, this is sort of a crossover item between adults and kids. And for the audio books, you just hit play and it would start playing in your browser. One more thing we'll take a look at is if you want to download an item to a mobile device, there's just a few easy steps to go through. In this case, we've got the 80s mixtape, a music collection here that we'd want to borrow. So you'd go ahead and click on borrow. And then the device will prompt you to click borrow again. Are you sure you want to borrow? So you click there. And once it's borrowed, you have two options. You can play on your device if you're connected to the internet, or you can click on download to your device. Once it's downloaded, then you have the ability to listen to the item without an internet connection. So you'd click on download, and that's what it would look like while it's in the process of downloading to the device. And once it's finished, it will look like this. So again, once it's downloaded to your device, you don't have to be connected to the internet. So it makes for listening in the car or wherever else you don't have an internet connection. Very, very nice. So overall, Hoopla has been designed to be 
very easy to navigate, very user-friendly, conducive to just running around and exploring. But if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. We will have our contact information up on a slide at the end of the video. And thanks for listening.